All right, people, what's going on? This is Theo here, and this is a quick rant, and this is aiming at one person and one person only, and that is Boris Johnson. Yes, yet again. Now, as I came in from work, I was just coming in, chilling out, and then all of a sudden I put on the news, and then I, and then I just saw the picture, the picture, the picture, right? I'm about to show it to you right now. So what you're seeing right now is Boris Johnson clearly, right, having a good old knees up with his colleagues. Now, this is that's been taken November 2020. Guess what I was doing? I was working. I was working hard. As you guys know, I'm an NHS worker, right? And I'm on the front line and I am risking my life helping these people. It was also my birthday around the time. So imagine all the shops were closed. I couldn't even do a thing. And these people were partying. It's a joke. This clearly demonstrates that this guy is no leader. This clearly indicates that this guy does not care about anybody but himself. He doesn't care. So what I want from Boris Johnson is this. I don't want an apology. I don't want him to explain what happened. I don't want him to, to fudge over the issue. The evidence is clear. Now we know that the Sue Gray report is coming, but the evidence is clear. This guy needs to hand his resignation. Just hand it in. So we all can move forward. Now, when all our people would turn around and say to me that, oh, we've got bigger fish to fry. And I would agree with you, right? I would agree with you that we have got a lot going on in this moment in time, right? We've got a lot going on. We've got the war in Ukraine. We've got the cross of the living crisis, right? There's a lot that's going on, believe you me. But I can't get over what's happened. I can't. The pandemic, I said this before and I said, you know, I'm saying it to you again. The pandemic is going to stay with me for the rest of my life, right? What happened over the course of the last two years was horrible, right? The streets were empty. Shops, restaurants, everything we hold dear. Everything that we um, identify ourselves with people that were taken away from us. We obeyed the rules. We had to sacrifice. We had to do what we had to do in order for us to keep ourselves safe. And this guy does not lead by example. This guy has taken us for mugs. This guy, right, is laughing at us. And I'm sick and tired of laughing at us. Now I know that um, Keir Starmer is under investigation as well. And if he's found guilty, yes, he said that he will resign. The difference is, at least he will come out and say, look, listen, I've been, fe I've been, I I've been here and I've been, I I've been doing this and everything else. And I'll hold my hands up. What did Boris Johnson do? He constantly lied and lied and lied and lied and lied. Just because they're as bad as each other... I know, right, that I can't trust, well, yes, neither one of them, but I can't trust Boris Johnson more, right? I'll, I'll hang my hat on that. This guy is a joke. This guy is a bumbling perfume. You know, the, do you know, the, I've been watching videos of him um, before he came um, Prime Minister, and I'm there thinking to myself, who put him into the limelight in the first place? He is a joke. He is someone that's not... Um, a leader or anything else like that. It's a joke. It is a proper joke and I can't take it anymore. He needs to needs to go. Sorry, if you can hear the water trickling there, that's um, the uh, the shower going on there. So, sorry. But look, listen, apart from that, we have to be serious now. We need to have trust in this country. We need to have some form of integrity. We have to have it. We know we know the truth now, and the Sue Gray report 
if you can see the picture now, imagine what's going to be coming out in the next couple of days with this report. Boris Johnson won't have um, uh, anywhere to hide. He won't, he won't be able to run from the truth, right? He's going to have to come out and he's going to have to explain himself. And ultimately, he's going to have to hand in his resignation. Now, I don't care that's who's going to quit replace him. I really do not care. What I care about is that I want... I want closer to the situation, yes. But I'm tired of being lied to. I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I'm tired of um, people like him that's getting ahead, that's doing whatever and not caring about somebody who is struggling, somebody who is um, trying to do their best to live a good life, a good enough life. And, and I'm on the side of the people that's lost their jobs. I'm on the side of the people that had to go through two years of hell, including losing their loved ones, right? We can't take this anymore. Boris Johnson has to go. He has to resign. And I would want him to do it relatively now. But honestly, he's waiting until that report comes out. But... Honestly, he has to go now, right now. So, that is my quick rant. So, if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, don't forget to share it as well. And also, hit that notification bell as well. Hit that notification bell. It will tell you when I'm going to upload a video. It will give you a notification. So, in the meantime, people, i done my two cents. You have a good evening now. I'm out. Peace.